Hello guys, welcome back to Iban Iba's Frontier channel and this time I will try to make a review of Insects Figure, Kamen Rider Yuki Survive and Drag Racer set. So let's take a look on the box art. And here's the Yuki Survive riding the Drag Racer in bike mode. And here's the Drag Racer in the mirror world. And have some mirror broken mirror things. And this art is similar to Genocider box art. And here's the Bandai logo, Tamasi Nation logo. Yuki So 5 logo and this is the Panda ex exclusive shop and on the upper side here's the awesome art I really like this one it's Yuki with the drag razor and on the side is the drag razor on the bottom side is drag razor in bike mode seems like running away and here's also the Yuki So 5 with drag razor and on the back side is the usual Yuki line you can see here the possibility of the drag dancer and of, of course this drag dancer can turn into drag dancer bike mode which is we are waiting for okay so without further ado let's take a look what is inside this box this set include the part for wiki survive which is same like in the 2013 you get five pair plus one hand and two extra hands for normal yuki form also nine outman cards and a draft visor as well and same like before, it also comes with a red Yuki stand to help your Yuki for posing better. The drive passes way have at least 3 gimmicks. First, the mouth can be open and insert the other end card. The card also can be inserted in the top holder by pull the upper holder and push it back again. It also included a small blade that can be replaced by the bigger one for the sword fan. And lastly, you can change the small pack on the drag visor's way to put it in the Yuki's belt. This pack also have it on joint to make sure it not hindrance your movement for pausing. As I mentioned earlier, Yuki Su5 here is the same or almost the same with the earlier release. The Yuki Su5 has exactly the same color, even the neck color is somehow pinky just like before. And you might already know that Yuki Line is one of the best SH figures in terms of articulation and detail. The neck articulation is perfect, usual hand articulation, shoulder pad can be moved, double jointed elbow, and ball jointed wrist. The armor in the shoulder also have independent ball joint to help your arm movement better. The leg joints is also perfect, same like other Yuki Line with very nice tight joint. Double jointed knee, legs joint, and a two joint. The torso movement is also very awesome, it can turn left to the right, up and down without any problem. So let's take a look on the real main attraction which is Drag Ranger. This is what you get when you open the Drag Ranger box. You get this state of the Drag Ranger and also this included in accessories of the tails of Drag Ranger and the top skin of Drag Ranger for the Dragon mode. So here's the detail of the bike mode. You can see here that the red color is matching the red color from Yuki Survive, which red chrome color. I really, really dig this color. I really love it. And here's the gold color. Also, I think it's matching the Yuki Survive. This is also the silver color. All is in metallic except maybe the black color here and the black color in the uh, in the in this part i forgot it in english so when we get the drag ranger in the box is the visor is already open so i will leave it like that although in the bike mode should be it's closed you can close it later so i will try to show you what it can done in this bike mode you can see here that it can turn around both front and back but if you are kind of uh hindrance it it's somehow the turn down is not really smooth but actually it can be smooth so somehow it's sometimes it's a hindrance by the hand or something but if you pose it right i think you will get smooth uh turn around so you can hear uh, playing around like this and another joint that they he have in the bike mode is this joint so I will show you what is it can done in the bike mode. And this one also have joint, and the mouth can also be opened, open, close, and the head also can be move around until 360 maybe. No, 
only like this but you can turn around the head you can also move it the handle of the bike here and i think that's it in the bike mode so i will show you guys how to turn it into the dragon mode so what you need to do first is attaching the tail that is not come from the box but it's inside the box as accessory so here's first you put on the tail in here it's a little bit difficult yeah but actually you don't need to put it off again after this unless you want to put it in the box and here's the bike uh, in the, the tails also have some articulation and then the sword tail you see here that you just put it here inside but a little bit careful actually this drag ranger have a lot of pointy things so be careful with your hand and be careful with the drag ranger itself or you can maybe destroy the details like this so first thing uh how to turn into the dragon mode is actually written in the review but in japanese but i think you can guess it by the uh picture so first if if you want to turn it to full bike mode you need to put off put on this uh, visor here so here's how you do it first take off like this and then you can move it to the front like this and then put it and then just leave it like this and you are already have the visor on so firstly what you need to do to turn to the dragon mode is attaching this side and then put another accessory here in here and then the next step is uh you can take off the body like this yes and then until fully like this i'm not sure if my phone camera will fit the drag razor in dragon mode but i will try and then the next part is to put off so these two hand is actually attaching the bike like this so you need to put it on like this and then you you can turn this hand like this um, in the both side next is to put on this tire i get it this tire into here so first you take on the neck like this and there's a small thing here put it on and then take the tire go up and then put down this body part and put also this small part here and you can put the tire inside like this so you put like this and then put it inside and take on again the small part here and close it oops close it until you hear the sound click and then put down again the neck and the next part is this tire actually this this handle actually this is not really mandatory but you put it like this and then the neck part here can be extended like this so it can be more longer so you can see here like this more longer and the visor we put again the visor back to the back like this and then the last part is to just send out this leg back leg and all done you got it drag drag razor in the dragon mode i will show you the articulation point in the dragon mode and as i already show you before that this hand can be turned down like this so he, this joint have like this and you can also move his armpit like this so this has two kind of joint and the elbow also have ball jointed elbow so not double jointed elbow like other common rider have so this is in ball joint you can turn it into 360 and this arm 
have the same like the Kamen Rider SH figure, ball jointed arm, and each of the finger have ball jointed uh, articulation, same like Hulk Buster, and on the right is having the same articulation as in the left, so I don't need to show you, and on the bottom leg have some similar articulation to the front, only have some difference in here you also have ball jointed tight joint but it can uh, it cannot move too much because hindrance from the big tight he have big tight like me and this is also same like in the front you can put it down like this turning like this but that's it you have it's not involved jointed and this ankle also have up and down articulation again it's not ball jointed so you can only up and down and each finger also have ball joint like before like the front i mean and on the right side is also the same and uh, on the tails is same like this also ball jointed that one i really hate this part okay this is also in ball joint i also already showed you before and the head can also can be turning like this and this time it can be in 360 i believe yes it can be in 360 and the mouth can be open maximum like this and each of this long body have some articulation point so from the front this one has the articulation so you can turn it like this but this this time in this one you have some hindrance on this part so you cannot turn it into 360 so be careful don't push your drag riser too much and the second part is in here so you have you can turn it 360 this time this very flexible joint and the last part is this one this also can be turned 360 as you can see here so he have three part of the joint in his body which is very awesome so uh, I also will show you uh, this part have some holes for the stand so if you want to put the stand you just uh, put in this hole so he have this hole and this hole also which which word is it in here so he have two holes in the bottom and for the upside you see that the yuki can uh, stand in uh, this drag ranger in dragon mode uh, the uh, the secret for that is actually this part so you put on this dragon skin like you want to turn it back into dragon mode which i will show you later and after you put it off you can see here that this also can be inserted to for the stand like this let me show you and with this stand you can put your, your yuki here and then we we'll have yuki standing in uh, up in the body of the drag riser so that's it how you put the yuki on the, that side and for lastly i will show you how to turn this amazing dragon drag ranger into his bike mode again turning back into bike mode is as easy as making it into dragon mode all you need to do is just do the same thing in reverse order you need to properly swap this part so that you can open it and get out the tire from the body after you getting out the tire from the body you also need to make sure that the hand is attached to the front tire and after that you also need to make sure that the finger is not attached to the tire or it can hindrance the movement of the tire. So you need to check the tire can be moved freely or not. Next is you need to fold the body and make sure you click the two point in this body part which is in the front and the back part near the back leg. And lastly, you can make the bike standing by put out the stand that hiding in the left leg to make sure that your bike can withstand well like this. And that is all you need to know about FH Figure, Kamen Rider, Yuki Survive and Drag Ranger set. If you already have the Yuki Survive, I suggest you to buy only the Drag Ranger 
because the Ryuki itself is maybe 95% same with the previous release, except that your Ryuki is over from pain damage. Personally, this figure is so awesome and really worth the price for Kamen Rider fans, especially Ryuki series fans. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my Facebook page Ibam Imba's Frontier. I hope this review can help. Thank you for watching. This is Ibam Imba and keep it here for more toys review.